I'm going to opine about the future of photography. If you're into that sort of thing and wanna know what you need to be doing, well, stay tuned right after this. And something that I think, honestly, that uh, hasn't been talked about enough, cameras really aren't getting that much better. Innovation has slowed. 10, 15 years ago, a new camera body meant revolutionary new image tech, revolutionary new quality. It meant a lot of things. But today, a new camera simply means maybe a few new features. Now, some of these are maybe really important for you as a photographer, a videographer, but they're not really going anywhere. Uh, if you're honest with yourself and you've bought, bought several camera models, camera, camera bodies over the last decade or so, you'll, you'll probably agree that if you buy them like say every two years, that's probably a little quick for some people, a little slow for others, but every two years, you'll probably admit that your last two or three haven't really been that different from each other. I see this actually with my camera bodies. I haven't really noticed a huge difference between images back in 2016 to my images in 2023. They look about the same. I think this is a trend that's going to continue because I think honestly that camera bodies are doing about as good as they could do in terms of image quality right now without the help of external tools. It doesn't, that this does not mean that it's worthless to buy a new camera. Uh, oftentimes new camera bodies introduce features that are very helpful. Sometimes they're shooting more frames per second if you're a wildlife photographer, something like that, very important sports, etc. Sometimes they do things like introduce exposure leveling for time lapses, so it does what LR time lapse does in camera. Amazing feature, by the way, Panasonic. There are so many features like this that are being introduced. I think software is where a lot of the innovation is coming from. You see even some of the smaller sensor cameras introducing high resolution modes, which allow you to shoot 80 to 90, 80 to 100 megapixels actually, because they take the same image and combine it. It's a really cool technology. So with that said, th there's a lot of cool technological innovation happening, but in terms of raw image quality, if you know what you're doing, it may not be worth buying new camera bodies anymore. I know we're in the middle of a talk about photography, but just know we do a lot of weather education on here as well. If you are interested in making better images with uh, weather systems, thunderstorms, snowstorms, whatever, just know that we're gonna be teaching about all these things here from forecasting the weather to making great images in bad weather. So with that said, let's get back to the video. There are bargains to be had. If you are a budget conscious shopper, you can buy a six or seven year old body today at a steep discount and get the same quality that people with newer bodies are getting. And if you don't need those new features, if they just don't seem that interesting to you and all you want is that image quality, used may be the way to go nowadays because you can get amazing deals. So the market is changing and probably changing in a good way because it's going to force every single person to stop considering their bodies to be the best. Like, like it's weird. I know people out there are getting so fierce because there are people who are like huge fan people of Nikon and Sony and can't listen. All the camera manufacturers today are producing good stuff and I'm sorry to you, but your camera isn't that special. Sorry. Now, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when you're making purchases. The things that I've talked about right here in my buying guide, you can see the card right there. This, a lot of these still hold true. Sensor size, important. The more sen bigger your sensor is, the better your camera's gonna do in low light generally. Now, we're gonna get into how this even isn't going to be a huge factor in the future. But for now, sensor size matters in terms of dynamic range, noise, low light, all those things. But at the same time, it's not as big of a difference as people want to make it out to be. Like, it really isn't. You could certainly get by with a smaller sensor camera, even one inch video camera, and get amazing results if you know what you're doing. You need to also focus on the ergonomics of the camera, how it feels using it. Everybody has their preferences. Do you want something that's bigger, smaller, et cetera? Those are important. And the other thing you need to worry about are the lenses. What lenses are available? How big do you want your camera to be like in terms of lens plus body combo? Uh, I use micro four thirds actually, and I have this amazing uh, lens that goes out to 800 millimeters. It weighs like one 
sixth, one seventh of what a large sensor camera with the same capability would. And I love that. I don't want to carry around 10 pounds of gear. I like carrying around three pounds of gear. So ergonomics are important. Quality is not a huge difference maker anymore. So just keep that in mind when you shop. So, and, and I hinted at this earlier, there is, the future is really cool if you are into getting great deals because you do not need to worry about things like sensor size in the future people i know some people out there are freaking ready to comment and say it matters it doesn't because ai is changing the game you're already seeing it lightroom has introduced an amazing denoise feature that makes clean images without much loss of detail this is today's tech five years from now you're gonna be able to do some cool stuff. Just trust me on this, where AI is going, where things are going, you're gonna be able to take this 20 megapixel image, blow it up to 80, and you're not gonna notice the difference between that and an 80 megapixel camera because these tools are only getting better. You don't have to worry about any of this. Dynamic range, you can make up for dynamic range right now in shooting with filters like you can. I, I do it all the time with my small sensor camera. The results, no one's ever complained about it because the results are great. So I'm sorry to tell you this. And, and if you are super gearhead and you think your $3,000 camera matters right now, it doesn't matter and it won't matter even more so in the future. There is hope for all of us. The AI revolution is doing some cool stuff and the big thing it's going to do, it's the same thing that digital did to film. It's gonna open up the marketplace to even more very creative people at a price point they can afford to do really cool stuff. And I personally, well, I can't wait. So to sum all this up, simple. I, I just wanna put a bow on this. Right now, you can buy a used camera that's five, six, seven years old, that's going to get almost the same quality, if not the same quality, raw quality that current bodies have. You're gonna lose some features. Obviously, I think that's obvious, but if all you're interested in doing is making great images and you can find workarounds for those features that you'd be missing, which you probably wouldn't even notice after you shot with this camera for two or three months, guess what? <laughs> you're in great shape. So just know that the, the future is more open. It's going to open itself to more creative people to do more creative things. I honestly can't wait. And hey, if you like this channel, if you like weather, if you like photography, if you like education about all these things, you like these opinion pieces, I don't care. This is a good time to subscribe because this is we're, we're, we're doing stuff here. And I can't wait to show you all the things we have in the works. With that said, Remember, weather's for everybody, but so is photography. All these things are for everybody. No one gets a monopoly on it. No one gets to decide they're the best at it because, well, all these hobbies find ways to humble you. So remember that, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. So to sum all this up, 